In the trade, it's known as laugh sweetening. And this man, Carol Pratt, is known as the Sultan of Sweet. He's the best in the business, and that box he's wheeling around is his fortune. Inside Carol's laugh machine are 10 tape players containing gasps, guffaws, chuckles, applause, the works. On top of the console are 40 buttons that Carol plays like a virtuoso conductor. Watch him warm up for a sweetening session on the sitcom Webster. Once he's hooked up and his laugh orchestra tuned, Pratt and Webster producer Bruce Johnson watched the show scene by scene as it was recorded with the natural studio laughter. Usually, Pratt has a free hand in deciding where the new laughs will go. Here's the same scene sweetened. The laughs are arranged horizontally across the keyboard from a very small laugh <laughs> up to what we would have as probably our largest laugh today. That's the buffalo laugh, huh? Right. <laughs> and of course there are combinations and you might want to build a, an innuendo from something small and the <laughs> as a slow build or a sight impact laugh. Laugh sweetening is not only used to increase laughter on a sitcom, but serves a purely technical purpose as well. A lot of times in editing or in pickups, uh, which is reshooting scenes after the audience has gone home, uh, for technical reasons usually, uh, pardon me, he'll bridge those gaps. Uh, sometimes in editing, we choose to pull up the picture, therefore cutting off the laugh, upcutting the picture. Uh, he'll smooth that out. Let's give a little, uh, little one on. That's all you're serving? You're pushing it. Oh, okay. A little. I went into this with a feeling that laugh tracks were really a bad thing, but I'm convinced that correctly done, where it doesn't antagonize the audience by being overdone or pushy, a laugh track does help the enjoyment. For a laugh man, the trick is to identify with the viewer, and Pratt is highly regarded in the business for doing just that. One of the reasons that Carol is the best is he brings the objectivity, and he will stop himself and regulate himself and ask to do it over. He'll ask Larry, can we stop and can we go back and do it over? I was too much. My timing was off. He is uh, very honestly self-critical. How about a book? <laughs> You're pushing it. Are you a sweetheart? For years, it was felt that if you have a laugh machine, use it to the hilt. If a little bit is good, a lot is better. And little by little, the American public became so sophisticated, they knew what was happening. And it, uh, it called for a lessening. And I think, what, 20 years later, we are, we're softening the laugh track and being a little a little more honest in our approach. Some viewers find laugh tracks obnoxious and hope that the need for canned laughter will pass. That doesn't seem likely. Meanwhile, Carol prance off to another session, and at $100 an hour, he's smiling all the way.